Hello and welcome to the CSCAD video tutorial. My name is Sergey, and in this video we will start a new blog dedicated to the content. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the content of the pages to your advance and improve SEO. Let's begin. Let's take a look at the content pages located on the storefront. The content pages might be of three types. Page, form and link. I'll be speaking about the uh, difference among them a little bit later. Now let's take a look at the examples. Alright, here, our blog. This is the ordinary page with blog posts and stuff. Give certificates. This is the form page. Our brands contain all information about brands that are presented in the store. And uh, also information about company, contact forms, information about team of the store, and uh, some other additional information. So everything that is not related to the products will be located at the content pages. Now let's go to the admin panel. To find pages we should go to the website, pages. Alright, here is the pages page. This is the title, this is the type of a page, as you can see there are two of them, page form. The gear button allows you to edit and delete selected page and the status can be active, disabled or hidden. There is also plus button that adds the new pages, gear button that helps you to clone selected and delete selected pages, save button of course, and traditional search panel. Now, let's take a closer look at the page. Let's create a new one. Add page. Root level page. Name. Mm, like useful tips. Description. Useful. Alright. Metadata page title. Meta description, meta keywords. Okay. Useful tips. Availability to all groups. Creation date. Use available period. No. Active. Admins. Facebook object type activity. SEO name. Comments and reviews disabled. Tags. Skip that. Create. Yeah, and now there is a new tab, Layouts tab, that defines the look of the page at the storefront. Now let's preview our new page, and after that I'll be speaking about page blocks and page layouts. Here is our new page, useful tips, something useful. All right. Now let's go back to the admin panel and uh, let's try to make something with its position and design. At the page layout you can change the general look of the content pages of your store. Let's go to the design, layout. Here we go. The first thing here is that we can add the new block with a page type. Just like this, let me show you. For example, let's add it here. Create new block. Pages. Okay, we can give it a name. Page 1. Template. Drop down horizontal. Drop down vertical. Text links. Filling dynamic tree. Full tree. General. No, no, no. Let's call it. That's right. Useful tips. Settings. Second level elements, third level elements, okay, create. And uh, there is one more thing we can do. Yeah, we can change the pages layout. For this we need to go to the main contact and change block options. We can change the name, the wrapper, the status, and we can add pages here to disable them. Oh, by the way, you can add user-defined CSS class if you want to make a unique style for this layout. Alright, now let's take a look at our new block. 
that's how our page block looks like in next videos i'm going to change its design and location but that's how it is for now from this block you can get an access to any content page of the store and this instrument might be really really useful but we'll be speaking about that in the next videos thanks for watching and see you in the next syscat video tutorials